This is a run with the new Turbo XS blow-off valve. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, third gear pull. up again everybody um, I'm back with another video I haven't been posting for a little bit I really have really haven't had anything to post about so I finally do today though so today we have a turbo XS blow-off valve turbo XS we lit all right so basically what was happening I had a Ready blow off valve and on the nipple of it the um, rubber hosing leading out of it would crack from the hood rubbing on there so I wanted something else um, I was always repa replacing that and it was just getting old plus I heard it wasn't even supposed to be on my car because the flange was off something else so anyway also it was a recirc this turbo excess is a full vent to atmosphere so basically we're gonna be throwing up some fat choo-choo noises and letting everyone know we got a turbo. Bottom line, that's what it is. No, just kidding. Anyway, but it will sound a lot better. I know it. And if you guys wanna see that, like a little review on the Turbo XS blow off valve and like how it sounds and whatnot, we'll get into detail. So stay tuned for that and let's get right to it. Um, I'm gonna need some Allen wrenches to get the bluff valve itself off and as you can see I just recut this hosing and Reinstalled it on there and it's already cracked again. Can you see that it rubs on the hood right here? If anyone has any idea on that um, Hit me up in the comments on why that's happening if anyone else has that problem, but yeah, that's my situation so basically, we're going to undo the zip tie. I'm going to have to plug this piping leading into the colder intake, I believe. And because it's going to not recirculate the air, it's just going to blow it all straight out. And it's going to sound great and amazing. So I'm going to get that done. And probably just plug it with some type of plastic piece and put a clamp on it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll figure it out. So yeah, Allen wrenches. And basically it's just straight bolt on should be pretty easy I had to switch cameras and I'm on shooting on the cannon you know how it is cannon life all right now we're good anyway so these first screws there's one on top one on bottom and I still need to get this one on the bottom All right, now it's starting to come off. I'm also gonna detach this clamp right there, and that hooks up to the bottom. And now I'm just going to pull it off. Oh, there we go. All right, and now just these screws will come off, and the blow off valve should just pop right off. Alright, and it's off. And I will show you guys this blow off valve. What the heck was I saying? Anyway, alright, so here's the Gretti blow off valve. Um, the part that I was saying where it didn't come from this car is this flange on the bottom. It's got like BE or something on there, and this is Gretti. Doesn't match up, but yeah, if anyone wants a Gretti blow off valve, it's in good condition. It's just a more of a recirc type blow off valve. Hit me up in the comments and I'll get this thing shipped to you ASAP. But yeah, out with the old and in with the new. I like that one. Like that on there. And the little vents pointing up for maximum explosion of air. So I'm going to bolt that on bolts <laughs> 
So this just bolts straight on beautifully. So problem is it's tight all the way down here and there's some play up there. I'm going to grab some washers like a washer and stick it right around there and then it should be good. Yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to grab two of these washers and now I'm going to re stick it in the hole. This time it should be a tight fit at the end. You always want it tight. Okay. I think we're good now. Ah, there we go. All right, cranked it down, everything is tight. And this hose doesn't reach this titty. Good news though, I have another one. So, let me pull this one off. I'm gonna, all right, so the other nipple you have to attach to is right down there. You can see it poking out, and then right here on the end. Boom, boom. Do, 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 do. This nipple down here is gonna be a pain to get on. I already know that. And I might, I'm just gonna take this whole um, top intercooler off just to get to it because last time I put new hosing, it took me literally forever. So I'm just gonna pop this off really quick. And this intercooler is really easy to get off. There's just like four, actually three bolts holding it on, and then two places with hosing. One right there, just gotta get that undone. And then underneath, right here, just need to pop that off. But shouldn't be a big deal. Changing mags. Okay, we're good. Oh. There's that little nipple we need to attach to. So, we might need to use lube because that looks like it's gonna be kind of a tight fit. You always wanna use lube when it's a tighter fit. Almost there. Oh. 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 All right, that should be good enough. It's a good way on there. I'm gonna throw the zip tie on there. And then I'm going to change my battery because it's about to die. Tighten it up a little bit and I'll just leave it like that. I don't think it's going anywhere. Get that hose out of the way and time to throw that intercooler back on. Don't forget your source of attachment. In my case, it's a zip tie. And this is also a tight fit on this nipple. So, you may need a little bit of effort to get it on there. But so after a bit of struggling, we finally got it on. It's good right there, it's good right there. Now the only problem is I have to plug up this gaping hole. Search for something, hopefully I can find something easily. Maybe like a piece of a rubber, no idea. Oh, I'm gonna go search for it. And I think I have a solution for that. Um, we have some rainbow glitter, a little bottle of it, and I'm just gonna plug it in there really tight and then clamp it off with something and hopefully it holds. If it doesn't hold, I'm gonna have to get something else, but fingers crossed, it's gonna hold. We're modded now. You just tuck that in there and it's a glittered cannon. Cut that bottle in half and get rid of the glitter. Probably is a good idea. Ooh. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Magical fairy dust. Ah, I cut my finger. Psych.
to get that one clamp around it so okay that is in there now securely I don't think this thing is going anywhere but yeah kind of ghetto and yeah but that that's what I was told should be done about that problem if you guys have some other idea hit me up in the comments because I'm a complete rookie and you guys might think I'm stupid for doing that but that's what I had to do anyway time for everything is all hooked up and now I'll show you before with my old blow off valve and then a current video so right now is the old video this is with the Gretti blow off valve this is what it sounds like cold start And this is a shot from inside the car, and this is what it sounds like. Let me turn the all right, AC's off. This is how it sounds inside of the car. So it's not that noticeable on camera, I don't think. But in real life, it is still, it's like, it basically blows off around like Five grand ish. Here is a current blow off chucking fat choo choo noises out of this. Everything's secured, ready to go. I'm excited to hear what this sounds like. So now you heard that, I'm going to go for a little run and show you guys what it sounds like inside of the car. Ooh, we got at least 50 more horsepower off that. Oh my, Turbo XS is insane. Ooh, I just heard it, I just heard it. All right, let's see if you can hear this. Ooh, oh, it sounds so good. All right, here's another one, here's another one. Yo! This thing is sweet! Alright, here it goes, here it goes. <laughs> oh, that thing is way louder! That is crazy. I'm literally a part of the blow off valve gang now. Alright. That's so good! Alright, here it is anyway. Oh my gosh! There is no way you guys did not hear that. That thing is loud. Easily three times what I had before blowing off that thing was crazy. So bottom line is I had someone uh, asking me to talk about the blow off valve itself and um, Just go into detail about it. So it's a turbo XS blow off valve I got it from a friend a speed 3 owner He sold it to me for roughly a hundred bucks and he's gonna do a photo shoot of my car. So that's lit and then Yeah, so If you guys are looking for a blow off valve, definitely go to full atmosphere. That thing is crazy. If you go from recirc to atmosphere, you're gonna, oh, you have, just do it, I promise you. The sound is so good. The ladies will be flocking for sure. If not, a couple of dudes will be asking you some questions if that, but you'll be getting action. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. If you liked that install, give it a big thumbs up. It was awesome, the car sounds great. I highly recommend you guys get a turbo excess blow off valve or just a full atmosphere blow off valve because this thing sounds great and stay tuned for other videos because um, next I am installing some um, handling mods mainly just upgrading stuff on my sway bar if you guys want to see that definitely stay tuned for that or if you don't want to see it that's cool too but yeah 
Peace out and thanks for watching.